Electronic Game Information and our final evening of Level Up Expo coverage. We have had a lot of laughs, we've created a lot of memories, and we have had, I think it is safe to say, an unforgettable time. An unforgettable time, and what better way to uh, celebrate an unforgettable time than with a look back at Turok Rage Wars, I mean Moon Chronicles, for the Nintendo 3DS. Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS. We have not had anyone ask us to look back at Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS, uh, but I do think that if they knew to ask for it, they absolutely would. How are you feeling, Alan? Are you ready to take a good long look back at Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS? Alan, are you... Do we have... Alan? Alan. Okay, well, let's kick off this EGI exclusive reminder of uh, of this this game. Uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, Turok Rage Wars uh, uh, Moon Chronicles. We have a Moon Chronicles for the 3DS. Uh, look back, an EGI official look back at uh, this wonderful game for the 3DS. Play the video, please. And here it is, Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS. We are uh, looking back, we are seeing all of this uh, wonderful sci-fi action that you don't really get to see, uh, or at least you didn't get to see as much on the uh, DS and 3DS hardware. It was more of a, a, a rarity to see these kinds of first-person shooter games uh, being, being uh, played on such hardware. Nowadays with the Switch, it's obviously a lot more uh, commonplace to see this uh, sci-fi action. This is a die-hard sci-fi action. Alan, if you could, uh, you're the 3DS expert. If you could give us some, uh, uh, some of your thoughts about this classic first-person shooter game, Moon Chronicles, for the Nintendo 3DS. It is running, of course, at 60 frames a second. 60 frames a second uh, is a uh, pretty high bar for a for fully 3D first-person shooter on this kind of hardware, and it is a really joy to see it running so perfectly, to see it running so well. And uh, you can imagine the type of uh, anxiety that the character, the uh, player character, must be going through as he navigates these Moon Chronicles catacombs, searching for items, keys, ammunition, while absolving himself of uh, the, the past and uh, moving forward with what can only be described as an adventure out of this world. So here is a, a door. It's a it's an enemy. Uh, the enemy. The doors are enemies in. That's just in. The doors are enemies in Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS. So any moment that uh, Alan should be here with us, uh, uh, piping in with some of his expert opinions and analysis of the the classic Moon Chronicles genre. 
the fr first person shooter genre on the uh and we have a, f a final uh, moment there with the door that was also the enemy so uh alan let's check in with you and see what we are thinking what's being said about moon chronicles out there on the streets of beautiful downtown las vegas nevada And if we could just get Alan uh, Resnick into the shot, our uh, spe EGI special correspondent, Alan Resnick, out there on the streets of this classic American city, uh, speaking to us clearly and thoughtfully about the wonderful Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS. Well, okay, we have uh, plenty more to, to look at. We have plenty more to explore. If we're talking about uh, Moon Chronicles, uh, we will have a another video another moon chronicles uh, Turok, uh moon, it's uh new it's on the 3ds it's uh turok it's rage wars it's moon chronicles it's a second video that we are playing right now and alan will be here joining us any moment so let's take a we're looking at the alan and this is Clearly, uh, another uh, sort of a uh, dungeon level for Moon Chronicles. A, uh, un unexpected to see these kinds of levels play out in this way. But here we are, uh, living the reality that has been set out for us and making those making those adjustments for ourselves. And uh, this is obviously running on uh, original Nintendo 3DS hardware. We have uh, not captured this with any sort of emulator. This is uh, this is the true thing. This is the real thing. And it is absolutely uh, incredible to see such a fluid and uh, thoroughly consistent performance on the Nintendo 3DS. Moon Chronicles on the Nintendo 3DS is uh, just, uh, just a joy to play with your Nintendo 3DS if you're waiting at the airport or the train station and you pull out your Nintendo 3DS and you start playing Moon Chronicles, you are going to turn some heads. So you fire the weapon at the dinosaur man and the moon continues its silent but uh, destructive race towards extinction. It's, mo it's the moon, it's uh, it's dead, uh, but you are very much alive, and you are fighting for your survival out there in outer space, waiting for the rescue, waiting for the story to have come to its conclusion, waiting for Alan to uh, jump in here any moment now with his uh, expert analysis on this classic first-person shooter, uh, a fully 3D first-person shooter on the Nintendo 3DS. Alan... Let's hear your thoughts. Let's hear your opinions of what this, what this all means. Where is the game industry now? Where is it? Where, what? Where did it start? Where did it? Uh, uh, how did we end up with a game like Moon Chronicles on the Nintendo 3DS? Well, uh, So as you can see, there are plenty of enemies there on the moon, and they must be dealt with uh, in, in, in a quick and, and deadly fashion. Otherwise, you will not survive the four episodes of Moon Chronicles now on the Nintendo eShop. I believe it is an eShop exclusive. Uh, you can get the first episode uh, free, Alan. I think Bobby. you're. you're hey, Bobby, well, uh, uh, John Allen, hey, it's Ben and Cricket. It's wonderful here. to see you guys out there on the streets of Las Vegas. We are so glad that Ben and Cricket are joining us uh, in, and are going to help us with this next stage of the show. Ben and Cricket, friend of the show, Ben and Cricket. So happy to uh, see Robbie. you guys. Uh, you're on Las on, Vegas. Man. You've been watching hey, the Robbie. Moon, Moon Chronicles videos. Robbie, can you put in? Can you put anything you want on the screen? Uh, I have uh, no. Well, well, we only have we have uh, Ben and Cricket on the EDI on the street. Robbie, and you, you guys have, have phone number up. on the screen. Yeah, he needs more people to call him. He what? was saying that last night, Ben. It was so funny. You should have been there. He was like, he was like, Cricket. <laughs> he was Bro like, I need more people to call me. I just want you to put up like a picture of me and my stats. I don't, uh, uh, that's a wonderful idea. A uh, picture of stats, a uh, picture of like kind of like bars, pen. like with a pen. sort of yeah. pen. pen. 
ten. Ten, ten. My boy, Ben, put, gets all you, tens. You put up a picture of Cricket behind you. Why can't you put up a picture of me? Well, there, uh, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, it's a wonderful thought. It's a wonderful uh, thing to just kind of, uh, kind of turn over in your head. But uh, what we are here for is, of course, Moon Chronicles coverage. So take it away, guys. You are on EGI oh. Oh, with your geez. thoughts of Moon Chronicles. Robbie, I think being on the moon is a feeling rather than a place and it's one that i've had like every night i didn't know i could have it every night is it like a dream? did you it's no it's not a dream just because it's reality just a, a thinking kind of thing. and until we came on this trip and i pulled that towards me like gravity which is something they have on the moon i didn't know how much i could have it before and i've had it yeah. now moon chronicles i mean it's like a chronicle is like a couple books all together, right? And I feel like in what we've done in this last couple nights, we could have written many books, which is like a chronicle. Yeah. Do, well, does the who is there a um, Robbie in Moon Chron is Moon Chronicle? A, uh, where are you right now? Are you at the Bellagio? Uh, we are at the uh, EGI studios in uh, downtown Las Vegas, Nevada. Our, our sort of remote studios are on the road studios, and we are broadcasting live. Uh, and uh, it should if it should be pretty obvious that uh, I am uh, you know trying to you know we're doing our our coverage and you're still doing the show we're thing, just doing uh, the show we're here you're, we're you're trying to we're, yes absolutely and it would be so uh, if I could uh, just sort of bring it back to Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo yes. 3DS. Oh, you guys, of course, that. are familiar with the Nintendo 3DS. I have something uh, that I... Do you have cash? I have uh, better than cash. cash I have the. I have a, I have right a list of, of Moon Chronicles facts. And no. so I would like to start reading those out right now. No. With, uh, starting no. with this, uh, Moon Chronicles was, of course, created by Renegade Kid, the, the, the sort of renegade developer. Renegade Kid developed and published Moon Chronicles shortly after uh, the 3DS was introduced, but if you are uh, are you, you are a interested in Renegade kid, kid information, the then we have it. Renegade information. They are, of course, the people behind Dementium and Dementium 2. No. Uh, the moon's not made of something called Dementium, Robbie. D Dementium, it's a beautiful it's a, sphere, it's a, it's and it's made person, mostly It's a horror game. It's uh, They created a custom dark. engine. And I have some of them here that somebody gave me last night, and I will give it to you, but I need money for it, Robbie. A custom 60 frames per second engine, a uh, first person shooter engine running on the original DS, which they, of course, originally pitched Put, to uh, Konami did you get my text? as a possible Silent Hill uh, tie. Did you, Robbie, sh Robbie, I, uh, did you, I texted you my Tinder login information? I. Uh, he needs more. If you could put that up. Because you have the picture of Cricket behind you, and I just think that's there should be Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, me, maybe or with my Silent Hill. You Sunny. can get in there, get it, dude. Log into my Tinder, do whatever you want with it. I won't tell anybody. Oh, well, if I could, put just get your thoughts on, on, on as long okay. as you just put up, put it up on the screen, because you have the control of the, of the screen, which I don't. And if you can make that happen, why are uh, why don't you, uh, let's just try something else? Let's uh, why are you guys right in Las Vegas? What have you what what have your what are your reasons for being here? It's so uh, wonderful to run into friends of the show, uh, extended family, EGI family, Ben and Cricket. It's so it's so wonderful to see you. Uh, how is this? Uh, how did this happen? I mean, we've you, we've we've just been we've here just for, been here for like, like we've weeks. Just. Just being. Yeah. Like, we don't we, have, we to, don't have, a have to have a show to, to go, go to somewhere. Lost somewhere. Lost somewhere. We come here to look at the fountains and to do acid and... And to hug as many people as we can. Yeah. To bring... Like, we don't have to go somewhere to do something, but we do bring stuff wherever we go, yeah. I guess and is what I would say. Contrary to what people think, you can swim in two feet of water. You can do laps. Yeah. You can't. You can basically. You can use that as your toilet. You can use it as your sink. You can use it as a bath. You can do basically live outside if you're near the fountain. The fountain. Here are the ingredients of a spa: water and the right state of mind. Okay. You know? um, let's that's see really if we can. Uh, uh, like if I spa? could. Uh, that's wonderful to have that. We're, ca we're caught up on. Uh, 
on that. And now we are going to talk about some of the other aspects of Robbie Moon Chronicle. Robbie. So we have, of course, highly detailed geometry models for the player, uh, the weapons okay. for the vehicles that you do drive in Moon Chronicles. Robbie, Believe it or not, there are give vehicles. The, give me the headline about Moon Chronicles, dude. Just stop holding back. I don't want to hear about what happens or what are qualities of it. I want to hear the thing that's going to make people go wild, go insane right. when they so, hear about Moon Chronicles. Okay, so help so, me help you because I can't, everything you're telling me, I can't sell that. I can't get anyone to, I'm not even listening to you. I don't even know what you're saying and I don't care about okay. you as a person and I don't want to be here and, and all right. of that good stuff. But what I want from you right now, just give me something that gets me, like it makes me feel like I'm on drugs, like I'm tripping, like something good is happening yes, in my life. I understand. Uh, so uh, w if you turn the 3D slider on the side of your Nintendo 3DS completely off, All right. Moon Chronicles has full screen anti-aliasing. I don't understand okay, what, what I'm, that is. But what I'm hearing you say is that what I'm hearing you but say... The, the 3D effect has to be off. If you have the 3D effect so on... Who's the main character of your little game? Um... It is a silent protagonist. It's it's a it's a character okay, that silent, you get to as hot. the player get to sort of put yourself, your personality okay. into that. See what would be better here is if it was maybe like a fucking hot dude or chick. Or chick, because we saw some yeah. chicks. We saw chicks, and it would be cool if some of, if like because sometimes you see the hand and the gun. I think in your games, but what if there were other body parts that it came into this shot? I can't hear when you when you move the microphone away from you. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. So, and, uh, well, uh, if I could, this is one of the few games in the early uh, 3DS library that had Circle Pad Pro support. Is that a type of thing you you? How do you take that? Is you that you stick it into the side of the 3DS. It adds some bulk to it, but I think you'll find in some games where it is prop properly. Utilize. Cool. Robbie. I can take a lot more bulk you than people think. Actually. Can, Why would you want to escape a reality where you can do drugs? That's my one question for you and for your viewers. Great. Let's uh, take some calls if we can. Let's uh, go to the phones and see what people are saying about Moon Chronicles. See, see what people are saying about uh, these uh, wonderful shadow maps, these texture filtering effects that are in, uh, in this. It's a 3DS first person shooter hello you're on the air with electronic game information with robbie ben and cricket and we are talking of course about moon chronicles hello hello hi you're on the air with electronic hello? game information what are your thoughts about moon chronicles um i really like it i didn't actually know that um the 3ds had any first person things mm -hmm. um but the um I don't think the graphics are really all that good compared to like what 3DS games normally had. I mean, compared to some of the other ones, it seems more like it was a port than um, a legitimate 3DS game. Well, I, I think know, that you'll find that, that uh, Ben and Cricket, uh, this is a very good caller because they're reminding us that uh, the three, that it was that Moon Chronicles was not developed exclusively originally for the 3DS. It was a Nintendo DS game that was running on the same engine as the Dementium Dementium 2 engine the one that they pitched to konami as a possible silent hill uh tie-in game and it wasn't until the 3ds came out and it had sort of bereft of uh of a lot of early launch titles a lot it took a little while for the 3ds of course to kind of gain the steam that it did so they were doing some ports not a lot but some ports oh, okay. of ds games to 3ds and now of course we do see that with the uh um alliance Alive. Right. Yeah, I thought it was actually a port to begin with. Um, but, yeah, I mean, are there any other uh, first-person 3DS games? Because that was, like, the first one I ever heard of. Uh, ben and Cricket, why don't you guys take take this one on? So, yeah, go ahead. I just want to say the caller's making so many amazing points. Thank you so much for calling in. I know it can be really hard to yeah. call in. Um, and you did, and I love that. I think that one of the things that I like to think about is that the graphics <coughs> in the real world are perfect you can't improve on them well, and so trying to look at something else and pretending it's the real world is never going to get you there but if because you turn the other off thing the, is that don't object, forget well, caller that if you do 
turn off the 3D slider effect on the top screen of your 3DS, you do get full screen anti-aliasing. Uh, so I'm going to have to disagree with ben, Cricket let there. Ben talk. Oh, yeah. Let Ben talk. Let Ben talk. All right, caller. So say... Okay, say you didn't listen to anything you said, you don't ever, you don't care about video games, you don't think they're cool, you well, like... What I do you, care about video games a lot. No, but, no. but this is a hypothetical. Hypo, uh, All right. A hypo, 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 hypothetical, and yeah, if, got it. Yeah, so imagine that, okay, if you could, if you didn't have any friends, and you would sit in a room and talk <laughs> about, right. like, the Wikipedia page of a game... What would you, what would be the, what would you, how would you try to help that person? Because they're your dear friend. Would if I'm you, trying to like describe one of my favorite games to them. No, the like what page, else or? could they do than what they're doing now? Like maybe more oh. cool or like, you know, uh, more sexy, like yeah. do a makeover kind um, of thing. Like a, could we, should we do a makeover kind of thing? For, uh, um, I think like honestly, that. you should probably give the show back to Robbie because he's trying pretty hard on this, and I feel like you're derailing the whole thing. Uh, he's thank trying to make some really good wow, points. Thank you, uh, thank you, Robbie, with the trade. Thank you for a thank point, you. wonderful point. Uh, appreciate the, the support that we get from our, our viewers, from our callers. We are talking about Moon Chronicles after all, really and the caller has feelings. been uh, That's so awesome. uh, wondering about all of these, you know, these types of. Uh, graphic upgrades that you get when you switch from an older piece of hardware to a newer piece of hardware. So, uh, we have another God call God gave on us the one air. eye, Robbie, and we need to use it to see the and graphics he gave that the, are all around us. the 3DS, us. uh, two screens. So, let's, uh, let's talk, uh, uh, to our next caller. It's Ben and Cricket and Robbie talking about Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS. Hi, Robbie. How's it going? Good, go it's good, and good. Ben uh, and we're doing our final coverage. We're doing our, our, our big look back at Moon Chronicles. Uh, and all of the aspects of Moon Chronicles that we remember from its launch. So uh, it feels like just yesterday. Yeah, great. Um, hey, hey, Cricket. Hey. How are your angels doing? Oh, that is such an amazing question. I, um, I, they're doing great. I, um, I, I keep them with me. I keep them with me right here. I keep them with me under above around and through myself which is a new evolution actually because before i was just under around and above but the through is something that i actually discovered the through with the ben one. the through is the hardest the one the hardest and one. we were just in this crowded room yeah. where were we, we it was were, in one of the remember, rooms but it was sweaty it was crowded we were all sweaty on each other and mouths everywhere looking on people coughing looking, into each other's mouths just feeling drinking, just touching. owning it and it, it's like it's so hard to describe anything that actually happens. Like you can describe fake agree. stuff, but it's so hard to describe what happens. Yeah. And I, the best that I know how to say it is it just, it, it just like all of a sudden I was like, <gasps> yeah. And then I stopped for a second and then I was like, that was through. Yeah. <laughs> that was through. But, uh, um, but yeah, anyway, uh, tell us about, about, um, uh, the, uh, B moon, oh, yeah, moon Chronicles. Moon Chronicles. Thank so, you yeah, for your question. Tell, tell us about what you think about that. I'm trying it's to been a really nostalgic game for me. I've played it ever since I've had my 3DS. It brings me back to the PS2. It brings me back to the GameCube. I'm just here for all of the polygons, you know? Uh, okay, so we're talking about PS2. We're talking about GameCube. Are there specific games that sort of are on those systems that remind you that maybe create kind of a... A, a path, a sort of historical path that led us to the point where we do have Moon Chronicles on the Nintendo 3DS. Um, I guess like Red Fact. Uh. Uh, caller, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We are talking Moon Chronicles. We are talking about how we got to the point where we are talking about Moon Chronicles. We are talking about the 3DS system. And the Nintendo DS. I'll take this one, Robbie. No. Hey, so caller, what is? Have you seen any good movies lately? Uh, what did I watch recently? Um, I saw that new Star Wars. I didn't love that. I watched uh, Obi Wan Snow Kenobi. Kenobi. Yeah, not good. Next. You're our only what other? Choice. What other movies did you see? Some sexy. Ooh. Uh, it's been a bit. I I really haven't gotten out. I mean, it's I've been busy with schoolwork and stuff. Oh, I saw Promare, that that anime one. Okay, cool. That's like a cartoon. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's it's cool. uh, it's gay. Oh, I love it. Oh. Respect. This yeah. Sounds hot. That sounds. There's a cool uh, firefighter guy, 
and uh, Go and, uh, on. firepower. Uh, Collie, what you're doing, what you're uh, saying right now reminds me of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What do you think? What, uh, have you played uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure at all? I have not gotten around to that, although I know a lot of folks who are very into it. I do believe I that, that there, there is a those... firefighter character in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I can't promise you that it's in the Dreamcast or the PlayStation 2 re-release of the Dreamcast JoJo's game, but I do believe that you uh, will find in the mythos of the Bizarre Adventure that a firefighter character exists. Uh, Caller, have you... Uh, Thinking about firefighters, if we can just sort of like focus in on that for a moment. Have you played yes, uh, Bur sir. Burning Rangers on the on the Sega Saturn? I have not. Uh, do you want to tell me about it? It's a wonderful firefighting adventure game. You jump around, uh, pet out fires, fly around a little bit as long as your jetpack has the fuel to do so <clears throat> kind of game. And it is on the Sega Saturn, so you probably uh, are going to have a lot of trouble finding it, uh, a lot of trouble playing it unless uh, somebody uh, has created a, a, a decent Sega Saturn emulator that can play Burning Rangers or uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I can right. find it. Uh, is it like a 2D platformer? No, it's 3D. It's fully 3D. Thank you for your call. Wait, 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 wait. I want to ask about 3D Firefighter. No, we, uh... wait, 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 wait. I wanna. Just let her do it. Bro. Okay, she's gonna ask about 3D firefighters, Caller? and then we have to go to the video. Caller? No video. I'm yeah. Say something. Can you? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Can you describe a firefighter in 3D for me? So a 3D firefighter would have like a cool like red firefighter hat that would be sort of polygonal, That's and then I think like a pretty rugged face, whether they're man or a woman. Oh. Um, and then I think just like a cool like fireproof sort of outfit. And they have tons they of some, water. Like, decals. What if? What happens when you put your hand on their arm? I think uh, they're confused at first, but then I think they're reassured. Because firefighters worry too. Yeah, I think they have a lot of concerns and a lot of... I think they're worried about the healthcare situation in America. I agree. Um, can we help? We Is there be. literally nothing we can do to help? I, I think that the, the thing that we can do for firefighters the world over is track down a decent Sega Saturn emulator and play Burning Rangers uh, for the Sega Saturn right. in any let's way that take, we possibly Let's go can. to the video. A clean-shaven Burning Rangers firefighter. All right, I got it from here. Thank you. This is Robbie and Alan reporting to you from the hallway and out at... This is Robbie and Alan. We are in the hallway for the Level Up Expo, and we have just run, uh, run into a friend of the show... Um, Eric. Eric, friend of the show, Eric, and he's, as you can see, he's wearing one of those beautiful, uh, limited edition electronic game information t-shirts that we, uh, that we auctioned off, uh, on, uh, adultswim.com just before Christmas. You're here as a volunteer, I understand? I, um, yes, I, I, yeah, I was. You was? Uh, past, tense. past tense. The past is behind you. I just volunteered yesterday. I'm not volunteering today. What have you seen? What have you seen here that that, that that has moved you? What have you seen here that has has made has has made you uh, appreciate the breadth and the scope of this uh, gaming culture of the gaming industry of, of enthusiast culture of hobbyists of of cosplayers and and uh, and the whole cornucopia of of, of friendship and in uh, in and, and, and uh, uh, video games. Um, yesterday we we pushed really large boxes, and that was moving. How big? What, what kind of boxes are we talking about? Like uh, like like Soul Reaver sized boxes, or like Half Life Two style boxes? Um, I don't know what the size of Half Life Two boxes are. Never played Half Life Two. No, no, no sir. Well, uh, let me tell you right now, uh, if, if you have a, 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 if you have the time, if you have the energy, uh, and you have a, a a reasonable PC that maybe, you know, that f f five years old, eight years old, 12 years old PC, uh, you do it uh, yourself a favor and go out and, and grab you a copy of Half-Life 2 on Steam or on Xbox. Um, I'll respectfully decline. Thank you, though. I, uh, 
uh, I came here from Los Angeles with a lot of pain, uh, with a lot of with a lot of uh, a lot of weight on my shoulders, and and being here and being with uh, the community here and being with the people here has made me feel accepted. It has made me feel. It has made uh, being here has made the weight go away. I feel light. I feel uh, filled with. I feel feel filled with light, and I, I just want to, if I can, just thank you, uh, uh, as a as a sort of ambassador for your uh, town, uh, for your uh, for your convention. You've been here three or four times. You said at this point, yeah, and you have been, uh, and people around here, and people, maybe friends of yours, maybe acquaintances, just people. Uh, when they're together and when they care about something, they can uh, change the world. Right. The Level Up Convention, they keep the lights way too bright, but what happens here is been staying, is pretending to stay here. And so I think part of what maybe is so good about the community here is they can keep secrets and, and people don't, uh, you know, it's just, it's your, your time here is yours. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, you know, people do keep secrets, you know. Nothing, nothing comes out here, so everything stays inside, you know. That's so cool, and that's why the Level Up Convention is so fun. What happens here has been stuck here forever. It will not escape. What keeps you up at night? Oh, what keeps me up at night? Hmm. Now are we talking, like, philosophically, or are we just talking, like, just like a normal thing? Uh, just for real, I think just not knowing what's ahead. Because you can always plan for the future, but you never truly know. And that's that's just life. It's uncertainty. Uncertainty keeps you up at night. The night sweats, the real thing, it's it's dangerous out there. It's dangerous. The future is... The most dangerous thing about the future is you can't see it. And the past is the past, and you don't want to look at it, because then you see where you've been, and maybe you want to change things, and you can't change anything. You have to just keep going forward, and, and sometimes that's terrifying. Oh, yeah. It's taking that big leap forward. Like like you said, looking back, you don't really want to look at it, but I think that one should reflect on their past and just keep going on. Like, if you, let's say you did something bad a long time ago, maybe you messed up, you, you have a regret. Sure, you can you can binge on it and, and dwell on it for, like, years, but sooner or later, you're just going to have to suck it up and just move on and make yourself a better person. Robbie said that we could have as much fun as we wanted in Las Vegas. Just he said no pills. Beautiful down. Uh, these are the questions that I've been meaning to ask someone local like yourself, which is uh, people say, you know, uh, coming from the East Coast, people say Nevada. And that's wrong. And I understand that to be incorrect. You say Nevada. But I also, I also, well, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Star Wars, Darth. And so. Is it loss or is it lass? Oh, uh, loss. So we say that we say the the soft ah for Nevada. We say that we don't say the soft ah for Nevada, but we do say the soft ah for loss. Yeah, well put. Yeah. And we say the and it's uh, it's of course uh, just a wonderful place to grow up, to raise children, and uh, to see all of the, the the different types of growth that can occur. Uh, when you uh, overstimulate them. Yeah, I grew up pretty well.
And I just want to give a quick EGI shout out to everyone in Las Vegas that made our uh, trip there so special, made the expo uh, such a wonderful Robbie. and memorable. Robbie. Robbie. We have a special surprise Guess for what? what we found. Oh. It's Alan. We found Alan. What's what? up? Alan, say hey, dude. Hey, uh, it's Alan. That's classic it's your Alan friend. stuff. All right, Alan, uh, do the funny joke. Oh, so, uh, let's uh, just uh, try to. Uh, we're gonna work. Uh, we're gonna work with this, and we are going to get right into the Robbie. art. With the the Alan, Robbie, it's Robbie, your Robbie, best Where are we? Alan, Alan, say right. it's one of your Alan. classic bits. We found him for you. Hey, we brought Rob. him. Hey, uh, it's great uh, to see uh, Ben and Cricket expressing themselves to people on the street Alan. of Las Vegas, oh. and now we are going to see uh, how people express themselves through art uh, with the section, It's the Arts. Are you guys ready to take a, take a look at that? Are you guys... Uh, you, are you asking us? Uh, yes. Because we are out. We found Alan, dude. I know, man. We're out here. This is the best fan art you could ever ask for. It's Alan. Alan. We love him so much. Yeah, I don't think I ever loved Alan are, before, uh, but I love him. Can we get an Alan update? Can we get an Alan update? That's from, uh, of course, friend of the show, Matt Pierce has sent in. Look, that's wonderful, you, buddy. It's, it's uh, us. It's Alan uh, having a wonderful time the way that he did when he was on the streets of Las Vegas, and he was having a great time. Well, and and I'll take it from here, Robbie. Okay, let's get Alan's reaction to the art. What did you think? That face was like <laughs> in the drawing. The face resembled that. <laughs> You it's heard it here Alan. first. The face resembles Friend of the that. show, uh, Angel, Angel, Angelica Rosenthal is uh, sending this as a, a picture of we the really, car we're, we're, that we're, Alan we're, and I were driving you. to Las Vegas, we uh, really crashing into we the. We never find you ever again. Uh, uh, some kind of a star sign, some kind of a uh, sort of a star we're effect. It all. And it's Alan really saying to Robbie, I you told you to turn the headlights back on. I had dead. This might be why Robbie's so sad because you left the show to wipe off graffiti. And here's another picture. Of Alan. Alan is is uh, he's got so his hands good. clasped together. He says, "I uh, and he's saying, what's that white stuff on his hand? Sanitizer, hand sanitizer. He's using a hand sanitizer. He's staying That's safe hey, on the streets. Of I have that, of this, uh, especially a big tourist town uh, like that, uh, like like it is this classic American city. You can imagine that." Hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Robbie, did Robbie. You, Robbie, did you know about Alan's new job? He why, he washes, he cleans graffiti. As you have scum on the side of the building, it's good money to wipe it right off. Right, and so we have another uh, fan art. We have uh, Las Vegas EGI. It's a it's a oh, there's a, a hole in it. Yeah, they a put hole. a hole. It's not a hole. It's a it's a green shoe. Robbie, green, they, you green, ruined uh, green, it. Did the you green rip shoe. it? It's not it's not ripped. It's real. Robbie. and that comes from Gabriella Crossbow. From I have so Gabriella it. Crossbow sending in uh, wonderful drawings. Sending in this is beautiful art. Uh, this is never how people, felt so this is how reasonable people express themselves. I've never felt so I love to art, Robbie. I don't know why you're being aggressive. Okay, My energy and, uh, is to pull. Milkman, friend push. of the show, Milkman, sends in a uh, blue leader from EGI Classic Blue Leader uh, saying that this uh, this blue leader also says trans rights. And here he is uh, protecting trans rights. And hey, Robbie, did you so know that Alan's the really into, into guns? I... Tell us about. He was just saying stuff about guns. I don't. Uh, I don't know think too much about we, it. We gotta stay on topic. Got a like lot that. of art to get through. Looked at it. We've right here from Alex oh, Frankendog. And now that's Alex Frankendog is just uh, showing Alan and me stay. Uh, Alan stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. You wouldn't let Robbie touch your face with that, would you? Good, that's it's hard. A, it's a good. Can you believe of all the people in in how many people are probably in, in Las Vegas? Ballpark, probably ten thousand. I, I don't know. And we meet. No. And we find Alan. There's a lot of kids in my school. Okay, and we are uh, staying hydrated, staying happy. Friend of the show, Frank and Dog, you, Alex Frank and Dog. Did you, you get there? Uh, another um, another drawing from a uh, painting. Part. Really, this looks like kind of a sort of a pastelly kind of milkman. Mm -hmm. uh, friend of the show, Alan is looking for his uh, drink. Would you do like to party? What's milkman, Robbie? That's <laughs> friend of the. It's a friend of the show and. Nathan Peterson has sent in a picture of Alan fighting a friend of the show, Jamel Johnson in Smash Brothers. A friend of the show, Jamel Johnson. If you guys remember that we hear any of Alan's stories, they're so good. Well, uh, 
but we could get to the stories at a later date, a uh, later time. We do have to get through the art, the fan art that people sent in, a fan art like this one from Joe Edmonds, Best Friends Club. It was me and Jamel Johnson. I thought Alan was your best friend. Aren't Colony movie Wars, about that you're making. Colony Wars uh, on this, uh, it's a backdrop. It was made in Photoshop, clearly, but it utilizes a great deal of skill, a great deal of in, uh, enthusiasm for uh, the games that we talk about on this show, for the games that we cover that no one else covered. It's it's the arts, and it's only on EGI. Here's a drawing of me and Jamel. Uh, we had a wonderful time with Jamel. It's so wonderful to see uh, him rendered by friend of the show, Moop. Moop has uh, shown Jamel, uh, ha you know, we're having, he's having uh, some sort of a, of, a, of a gag on me, and I'm having a Robbie, good time. Robbie, can you show a picture of me so I know I'm still real? <sighs> I don't. Uh, That's a really good point. If you, That's a good point. If we had more episodes, maybe Robbie, please, do it. Robbie, do it. Robbie, can you show exist. a picture of me so I know I'm real? Okay, please. here's a picture Robbie, of uh, Alan, of uh, uh, Jamel, and Robbie. It's the. I feel like all the it, pictures are of you, Robbie. Am I not? Can you not see me? Nacho cheese. Are you not seeing me right now? Am I? Can you hear Robbie? Can you hear me? Do a close up of that. Am I real? Good. Back to you, Robbie. You draw a picture on the side of a building. You gotta wipe it off before it dries. It's much harder to get off after. Have you ever seen any pictures of me on a building? That's fine. They draw characters and there's sometimes exaggerated features. Here's a wonderful. Did Alan die? Uh, we don't have a name on this, but it's a picture of me looking. Alan is dead in this uh, Alan? drawing. Well, I'll take it from here, Rob. Alan, that's, let's uh, get your reaction to seeing you dead. I think that's dead. sick. I think and that's Alex uh, incorrect. And I, there's and no reason to be afraid, Rob. We know we go back before. Yeah, and you just we, what we have to do right now, especially is we have to get as many people as we can. We have to hug them as closely as possible. Yes. We have to breathe all over yes. them, and we have to just keep them close because you never know when someone could go away. Go go to all the oldest people that you know, especially, and just get really close to them and 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 share stuff with them, breath, fluids, things like that. Because again, it's like you don't. You just time is so short. What do you think, Al? You work long enough in this town, you see an old timer come to the table. They know they're gonna bet big if they got uh, if they got nice shiny shoes. Otherwise, that's you gotta kick them right out. That's exactly it's what just I'm the saying. kind of thing that just Alan would metaphor. say before he died. Nathan Vegetable sent in this uh, this wonderful drawing of uh, it's uh, Star Wars fighters, but with the Colony Wars title over it. So if you think about uh, wonderful Star Wars games, X-wing, Tie Fighter. The Rogue Squadron series. Hey, Robbie, uh, I'm going to take it from here, man, as well. I just as wanted to say that, like, I feel like I've been weird to a to Alan in the past. Like, when sometimes I would hurt you physically or push you down mentally. And I just want to say that, that I've never felt... I just want to give you a big hug and just kind of keep you close to me. Okay. So, we are finished with that segment. I mean, Alan's finished. And now we finished. move on to the next segment friends of the show family of the show and it's the letters these are letters these are questions that are sent in by uh viewers uh questions that we don't necessarily get into with all the video game news and coverage that we do we do tend to tend to uh miss out on some uh facts on some figures and so uh this gives us a chance to see what has fallen through the cracks uh, How's that, buddy? Milk X S E asks, "How much will easily. PlayStation Five cost?" And uh, Milk X S E, uh, the PlayStation Five is going to cost uh, four hundred dollars. And right the uh, what's in Philip? Uh, Amy and um, uh, Mary Rainbow wants to know what's in Philip's rucksack. Uh, Philip, of course, is a, a game character from a uh, game that I uh, made up that we had a whole thing for. And well, Philip carries uh, in his rucksack uh, roof tiles because that's where. He hangs out. You can barely find any games in nature. You uh, look at the animals, mice, they're not playing around. Um, That's why they're all made up. Great to have a Alan's here full with of us. It. Uh, he's, he's full of stuff like that. Are you alive? Connor yes, under Kofler. Connor under Kofler. Connor, 
Connor <laughs> under Kofler would you like to... You take a picture of us right now? Look at us. Yeah. Uh, Connor under Kofler wants to know, how do I beat Rom the Spider in Bloodborne? Of course, uh, uh, Alan and, 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 and whoever else is out there with you people, uh, you want to, of course, remember that sort of critical point in Bloodborne when you come to where you think is the edge of the world, uh, there's a kind of a cliff and you're looking down on this kind of a cloud lake. It's like a lake. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got silly, <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> we were sad, but we got silly. We're just having well, fun. Yeah. If we're I just, could just take, we're just having this fun, is, Robbie. This we're this just letting because... it all hang out. We're having a good time, and you should come over here. Uh, Robbie, I just realized something. This is a show about games. Yeah. This is about this games. This is a question this about a, a video game. Show uh, a kind of you, show thank you for your options. It kind of is. It kind of is. Robbie. That you're giving us are great, and the moving. It's moving to see you just engage with it. Uh, I think it's fun. Laura, I do. Laura L. Bahari asks, did you partake in any March 10th day sales on the eShop? That was Mario Day. M-A-R-1-0. Is, is Mario like Day a day about games? I-O, Mario. Uh, and I did not because <laughs> I have all the Mario games uh, that I want already, and I paid full price for them, so I did not partake in any of the sales. Oh, Robbie. Uh, and final question of the evening, is Alan your best friend, and do you love him? Go. I can take um, that one. We've been best friends since we started out game school together. And it's continued even today. Uh, and this is a question from... Uh, it's a string of letters and numbers. It doesn't uh, seem to be any kind of the. Uh, I can't uh, pronounce that. Code from the when we were at game school, we'd do codes all the time. Alan together. is a very close friend who I like a lot. And, and uh, well, who I uh, would, old chum. if he's if so. if if there were to be a sort of a switcheroo and we could have a special correspondent uh, like normal, then that would be. Fantastic. Uh, but that was the letters. Hey, man. Hey, Robbie. Just want to say congratulations on another great segment, man. Yeah. And the letters was cool. Well, thank man. you uh, for the congratulations. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself for getting through that. And I uh, guess I'm proud of you guys for sort of not completely blocking it. Thank and you. And I would like thank to you. introduce a new segment. This is an EGI brand new segment just for our final uh, evening of Electronic Game Information Level Up Expo 2020 coverage. It is a new, uh, newest segment. It's our newest segment. It's called Look at Screenshots. And this is a special segment where we do just take a look. We do at shots? Screenshot. No, we just, it's screenshots as in still images from a video game. Oh, okay. Look. So kind of cool. like at. this, but this is not one of the screenshots. This is just the, it's just the full screen title yeah. of a, of, of what the screenshots might look like. So are you guys ready to play yes. uh, the new? Yes, it's yes, not yes, really yes, a game. Yes, yes. It's not really a know, contest. It's not a quiz or anything like that. We are literally just going to look at these screenshots. We're going to talk about cool, what man. we're looking we, at. We're going to talk about we, the history of the game that we're looking at. Robbie, we are going to look at our first screenshot. Robbie, Ben here. Let's just say this is going to take like five or ten, and then we're going we're all going to go do because you said the word shots, and then we were all kind of like, let's go do, let's go to a bar. So just say. Just let's say this takes five minutes, and then we're, five and then it's done. Okay? Uh, I, you're invited. I, I, I yeah, you promise you that we are going to take far more than five minutes. Uh, but you are welcome to do as whatever you want. Uh, once the cameras turn off, this is our first screenshot of the night. W what What are your thoughts? That's a bad little bun who just wants some fun, and his boots are all red, and he's mad in his head. I love this game. Am I doing it right? <laughs> No. Watch out for the floor. It's uh, you'll be more. The floor. Uh, this, uh, if we could look at uh, this, is the first screenshot Ooh, of the evening. Ouch. So this, is, of course, is Don't Jersey Devil the for crack. the for the first PlayStation. This is one of the, those early 3D action adventure platformer, kind of run around, collect lots of items and letters, and kind of just discover where you are in the world, what's going on. You Robbie, I've never be, seen a bone with a tail like that it's before. It's not a bone, it's the Jersey say, Devil. It's a I ecological like it. creature that apparently uh, slashes people's tires on like back farm roads in New no. Jersey. 
Bunnies would never do that. That guy's if I could just all get... pink all the time. His aura is great. If he could come down to my aura photography business, I would snap his aura. And I'm telling you, I don't even need the camera to see it. That person's aura is blossoming. It's hey, springtime. Forget, it's, yes. forget we said we weren't going to do the cross promotion stuff because it's not fair because I don't I don't get to push my business. No, well, That's fantastic. Well, we are going to look at I'm our not allowed second to, no, uh, why, why, I'm not allowed to talk evening. about the strip it, it book. Is, I know. Uh, uh, look at but, screenshots and EDI new segment on EDI. We look at the screenshot and what do we see? Reach for the sky. Yeah. Alan, <laughs> stop. Wait, are those pucks? Those are, uh, we, we, we can't rightly know what they are. It does seem to be a sort of uh, low res pucks. model of, of some kind of produce. Uh, of a, could be a fruit, could be an uh, apple, tomatoes. Pucks. It's an ottoman. Uh, could be, it, I don't know how uh, you got ottoman, pucks. but that uh, uh, is definitely uh, a, 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 a basket pucks. of something. Uh, and it looks like an item. Ottoman. Could be a sort of a. Uh, uh, they pucks. What are what? Uh, uh, ottoman. What kind of gun is that, do we think? It's, this is, look at Put screenshots. We're looking at these the screenshots. Pucks. We're Put talking about what we're seeing. Put your gun down on the pucks. Put your gun on the pucks. Put your gun down on the pucks. This is uh, pucks. awful, and we are going to go to our third screenshot of no, the evening. No, 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 no. Third I... screenshot. What are, you, oh, what, what are now, we looking at? See, that guy, he, see, he's got triceps. He's got traps. He's he, he's even got the tr the lower ones, and that's because I'm I guarantee he lowers his sugar and and his and he meets a he you gotta eat a lot of protein because you gotta do a to build that kind of muscle you gotta eat a gram of protein or two grams of protein per every pound of how much you weigh and that guy looks like he might be 500 pounds so that's he's eating a thousand grams of protein. Robbie, do you know how many raw eggs a thousand grams of protein would be? Um, it would be, I'll tell you, it's like about 150. Okay, but here's so, the thing is that his uh, muscles, his powers, his great strength does not uh, is not derived from natural means. It's derived from magical means. The mask that has grafted itself to his face and given him the superhuman abilities no, that he no, needs. No, no. To Robbie, fight my horses. mom always said, if you see a handsome man, you know those chickens are busy. So the this is the, a, the fully 3D uh, reimagine, reimagining of the classic arcade TurboGrafx-16 Sega Genesis uh, ser game series Splatterhouse. What I do want to mention, though, also is that he's got a wallet chain. Have we? Can we talk about the wallet chain? Ooh, Am I allowed, up. Robbie? <gasps> uh, that could no. be a wallet chain. It could be a chain for carrying items. It's a collecting. It it's clearly a items. wallet chain. I know because I sell. I used to sell wallet chains. It's Where? how I got the money to start uh, a strip club that's also, chain you can do oil changes and some minor mechanical stuff to cars. But th because I started off selling wall chains. So I'm just saying that that's, I'm not trying to push the business. Like I know we said I couldn't do that. No. But Google it because you'll find it. Tons of stuff will come up. Just Google, just figure out the keywords. But Dude, if you Google almost anything, like tons of stuff comes absolutely, up. Absolutely, like a million things comes up for almost everything. Which Thank you no, for that. Great. And we are going to go uh, go ahead and look at our uh, screenshot number four. Screenshot number four of the evening. Is, this is a this is one of the, this is the one I one of the ones I really look forward to because it is such a classic game. It's such a classic look. It's such a classic moment in uh, Wait, such Robbie. Alan just said moment, Alan just said something really so funny. Wait, we almost missed it. What, what were you saying? How do you come up with all this stuff? <laughs> Well, Isn't I don't that a good... with any of it. It's just a screenshot. Robbie, what's your catchphrase? Our, uh, Robbie, what's your just... catchphrase? There's no catchphrase. Robbie, what's uh, your catchphrase? It's just the title of the segment, which is... Robbie, what's your screenshot. catchphrase? What's your catchphrase? Like, if his is... How do you come up with this stuff? How do you come up with all this stuff? That's classic Alan. What's classic Robbie, you know? I'm just trying to help the show, man. Uh... I don't. I don't have a catchphrase. What about I've never, uh, today's, I've never today's the day? I have a catchphrase, but I guess if it if it was if I had to, I um, think I would say uh, something like play the video, or let's watch the video, or uh, take the slide down. That could I, be, take the slide down. I like that. That's, that's, that's how you get to the lower levels. You take the slide. Yeah. Right. And that's the kind of, that's what, ha at least so what we're looking at is uh, sort of a back, vampire action medieval setting. It's, it's uh, one of those uh, games that sort of flies under the radar because it was overtaken by a, a, a similar uh, or, or a okay. game series that took place in the same universe and, and was forgotten because it didn't have quite the, the, the sort of visual panache of uh, the game that was that overshadowed it. That now that that one that that woman's tattoo on her leg looks really familiar. Who is this a picture of? 
Do I know? Do I know these people? That is uh, Blood Omen Two. That it would be the Vampire Warrior Kane. So no, let's look at the, our final woman, screenshot of the name? evening. Do you know? And no, we you? are going to uh, a a classic uh, beast, a, 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 a demon that no. uh, one, that one that wonders what <laughs> you must be doing here in the lair where the demon is, and <laughs> who is going to fight the who. But like the, the that's like the who? But the uh, <laughs> team members of Alan's no. getting a real you guys. Can, out of this. Uh, there's, I'll, I'll give you guys a hint. It's a, it's, it's a biblical name. It's a, it's a biblical, it's a name and a place. Taylor, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down. It's Clive Barker's Jericho. Okay, bring it back, bring it back, bring is, it back. Uh, Let's go to the phone yeah. and see what what Stop. people are take saying about the screenshots. What people think of the segment. This is a new segment. We've uh, just piloting it for the first time. Call in. Let bring us know. It. What you think about the screenshots? If you recognize any of the screenshots, <laughs> there's screenshots that you would that that like you to see in the future. We uh, probably will not remember uh, what you phrase. say, uh, but we will uh, do our best. Take the slide down. Take the slide down. Take the slide down. He said it. He said it. It's so good. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the phones and see what we have. Uh, what what people are thinking. Hello, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We just have gotten through our segment. Look at screenshots. What did you think of the screenshots? They're very interesting screenshots. Thank varying you. Varying quality. I like the selection. What, oh, did, you have, did you have a favorite? We had five screenshots. Um, were any of them from the 3DS? No. Then I don't have a favorite. Great. Thank you for your call. And let's go into, uh, to our next call and see what uh, people are saying about screenshots. Hello, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. Look at the screenshots. Oh, am I on? Yes, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We're with uh, Ben and Cricket and Robbie. And? 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 Uh, Alan. Okay, and oh, oh, you are you. Oh, you're on with Alan. Cool. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. It's yeah. A long story, you want to say something are, to Alan? We're we're doing the show. We are moving. Hey, we're step by step through it. Uh, yeah, I'll say something to Alan. I think um, some, <laughs> Robbie, do you like? Do you love Alan? Because I don't. <laughs> Robbie, do you love Alan? You can just say yes or no, and then I'll I'll go. Uh, Al, uh, it's Alan is a friend of the show. He's a family, EGI family, and I care about him very right. dearly. Uh, I I am uh, wondering what happened at the top of the show, but we are yeah. determined to sally forth. And so, if you would just uh, tell us what you thought of the screenshots, then we shall do so. I, oh, what did I think of the screenshots? I thought they were um, they were so <laughs> cool. And they were like one of the best things I've ever seen on EGI. But um, um, you you don't love him though. Well, I don't. Uh, it, it's a wonderful question, and uh, the the answer is complicated. I that's a that's a big word. Uh, it's 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 four little letters, uh, but each one uh, carries with it a lot of weight. So I don't throw I it around. Uh, I, I'll tell you what I I do. I love care about him Robbie. very much and would uh if if if, if there was a, a a way to sort of figure out what happened at the top of the show then uh that would be great well maybe if you paid more attention uh you would know what happened at the top of the show and i don't i don't i don't think you should talk to the uh the other Alan, because there's some, I don't like him, and the show is a lot better before you changed ben Alan, Waller. and I don't think you, you should have um, Ben on anymore or Cricket on anymore because it's made the show suck. <sighs> that is a negative slide. Well, uh, thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your uh, thank you for the for the for the call. Um, uh, where where are you calling from? Well, we so have sorry, uh, a, a, one final uh, video uh, from our, our Level Up uh, Expo, our trip to Las Vegas. Let's uh, play the video.
And we are back with the list. Uh, our list tonight is just a uh, random, a random, they came to my house. They know why. random assortment of uh, Japanese role-playing games that I have not played. So let's uh, kick it off with the list. We're looking for your calls. We are excited to hear what you think about the list. And we are uh, going to be taking live commentary from Ben and Cricket. And uh, let's, it's the list. So let's start right off from uh, Jade Cocoon. Jade Cocoon is our first game on the list. It's sort of a uh, kind of a turn-based JRPG. It's a JRPG I have not played. It's on the list. PlayStation uh, era JRPG. Uh, it's on the list. PlayStation JR PlayStation. It's uh, uh, just one moment, please. We are looking for your calls. We are asking uh, what you guys think about the list. Ask uh, if we have a uh, Jade Cocoon. And I'd see if I can, uh, and the list is, Jake Coon is a monster uh, farming game. Uh, uh, What's going on, man? You all right? It's a, it's a, it's a farming game. I'm, I'm, I'm working on the list. It's a uh, Jake Coon. Of course, Jake Coon 2 is on the list. And uh, hello, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. We're uh, doing the list. It's uh, autocorrected. It's on the list. It's a Jade Cocoon 2 and Jade Cocoon 1. What do you guys think? You, Rob, you want me to take it from here, man? No, I, we, we have uh, more games I'll on the list. If I could just go right off of uh, the list here. We have Jade Cocoon. We have Shadow Madness. So Shadow Madness is on the list. Oh. Uh, Shadow Madness, of course, if you're uh, a fan of the shadows, if you're a fan of the madness, you'll find something to like in Shadow Madness. I have not played it, so I cannot... Uh, really give you much oh, much more uh, of a uh, hello you're on the air with electronic game information it's the list uh, I, I like the list it's, it's pretty good um, so I've personally never heard of any of these things but well, you, know, you haven't learned uh, you haven't heard of Jay Cocoon Jay Cocoon 2 what's Shadow the, Madness what about the, Driving the Lagoon Caller Driving Lagoon Rob, is, do you know what like a theme is like maybe it would be a, really cool if you had a theme JRPGs, uh, for your thank list. you, uh, friend of the show um, a family is it a theme a type of water Steam is a type of, uh, it's a game, it's a game download and a client itself. You, bu you buy games oh, and you download the game. Oh, oh, but we are talking about, about JRPGs okay, like great. Driving Lagoon. Uh, driving uh, Lagoon is, of course, a uh, driving uh, adventure game with JRPG elements. I actually uh, know somebody named Drick Vig. He's got a, he's huge. Yeah. Uh, right. And, okay. And we, uh, next up is Tales of Fantasia. You're on the list. Uh, Color, you're on the air with the. It's uh, the list uh, is uh, JRPGs that I have not played. It's a. It's a. It's. It's um. Hard, it's a. Uh, Tales of Fantasia, and uh, you're on the list. Why don't you? Why don't you um, ask Alan what should be on the list? Put okay. Alan on the list. Well, uh, what should be on the list? What should be on the list, Alan? That's a good question. Wait, uh, yeah. no, caller, what do you think should be on the list? I'm Alan. Robbie, it's me. Wait, I'm on Robbie. the phone? No, Wait. Robbie, that's... No, Robbie, that's not really me. I'm Alan, I'm... And I... I call. It was me calling before. Where are you, Alan? Mad. Okay. Alan's right here. I'm taking... I'm, I, I, no. I, I, we're taking the reins here. Not, where, where are you? Robbie, I don't know where I am. All the streetlights are off, and there's people sleeping. It prove you're Alan. No, I don't need to. Robbie knows. Alan, Robbie can if help. you Robbie, are, if you're, up. if you're Alan, and I don't, I don't yeah. think that this is funny. So if you're it's Alan, tell me what is next. The next game on the list, a JRPG. I haven't played this is the kind of thing that only alan would know okay that the caller goes Let's and then Al, and then alan so goes. we have jade cocoon no, jade cocoon what? 2 shadow madness driving lagoon yeah. tales of fantasia and what's next robbie say, say it at the same time okay starting from the top okay if you're alan you'll follow this perfectly if you're yeah. if you if you're if you're not one of these jack-o-lanterns uh, calling in and messing with the show I'm not. Okay. Jade Cocoon. Okay. Jade Cocoon. Jade Cocoon 2. Jade Cocoon 2. Shadow Madness. Shadow Madness. Driving Lagoon. Driving Lagoon. Tales of Fantasia. Tales of Fantasia. And? And? and same time. One, two, three. Uh, uh, say it with me. It only works if we both do it together. Ready? Okay. 
Only, only Alan would know this. Only I know. Come on, Robbie. Ready? We say it. Okay, one. We're going to say it. One. Are you crying? Oh, yeah. Robbie, are you, you crying you, you miss me? You're the jack-o'-lantern. You better say this right because... I, I'm not going to play around with this nonsense anymore. I've been dealing with a whole Me list too. of problems all evening. Me I can't, too. I can't, I can't remember which way is up practically. So know, we all know too. that it's more than it's it's more. It's it's more than one, Alan. More than one, Alan. It's it's one one thousand. thousand. Uh, uh, come on, if you're, I, I don't want, I don't, I, I can't take this anymore. People are just messing Bobby. with me all night. I, look, I know. I'm not messing with you. That okay. can't be Alan just, because this is Alan, and I can see him with my eyes. Okay, no, so all right. Ben, 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 I think what we, here, I think what we have ben. here is a little bit of a answer. showdown between two Alans. Well, that is so bad. So, well, all right, so work. let's see what Maybe Benny Cricket Talon so thinks all right. is the next, next one on the, the list. Sky. What's the next, say the next game on the list. At the same time. At the same time. At the same time as okay, Rob. It's, same, here's, yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. We'll settle it. Okay. This is a JRPG okay. I have not JRPG played. This, this is a JRPG I haven't is played. That that gonna, it's got... It's, uh, <laughs> we should just say it. Uh, 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 on three, we're letting we're letting we're letting one, two, th we're letting Ben and Cricket's Allen have a yeah, chance now. Real Alan so you so I call our no, Alan, call our no, Alan if you're Robbie, really Alan. No, you would know that it would not be right, Robbie. I want to come back, but I'm. I'm um, can I we just, hang up on this caller, please? Uh, Let me just take it from here, Robbie. Can, can we, we hang up on this caller? Okay, just got it. Robbie, you. Uh, uh, thousand. Uh, ben. Thousand. Ten. Looks like our Allen's good. Uh, our Allen's good. Star Wars. Uh, 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 pod you got racer. It. You got it. Star Wars. Opposite, you got it. Opposite of the leg. Uh, Robbie, you got it. It's a thousand Star Wars pod racer. You got it first. This is Allen. Uh, Star no, Wars pod Robbie racer is not on the list. It's not on the list. It's thousand no, arms. Thousand it. arms is on the list. Thousand arms. I know. That's what he said. That's what our Allen said. He said it. That's what our Star Allen said. Star said. No, That's what our Star Allen said. said. He said I thousand know, Star Wars. Star I said. He said it. Sam. I'm being, I'm, I'm fucking, cra I feel fucking crazy right now. But Rafi, I... So that I was the list. You, and and we just I love back. you, and I love each uh, guy, and I don't like the new Alan anymore, and I mess. This is starting to really freak me out. Yeah. Honestly. Because either the There's caller only... is a real jerk or this is an Alan. But I know that no, this that's is Alan not because ben, I can see him. Ben, 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 what? That is not Alan. So, tell me something not... only Alan would know. Well, that's what I just oh. tried to do. And it, I guess. And he kind, a, and he kind of biffed it, to be honest. All right. Well, how else can we know? That was the list. Text me a photo. I'm just... Text me a picture of yourself right now holding a newspaper. Jesus Christ, that was annoying. God, I can't even... I, I didn't even get halfway through the list. Everybody's coming up with stuff. Everybody's got their own little things that they... All these little freaking storylines. Sick of all of it. What is this show? Huh? Just a bunch of freaks yelling at each other? What are we missing? Why do we go? Why, where, where, where are we? Damn it. Las Vegas. God damn it. Just remember that Moon Chronicles was made by a group of people who wanted to originally make a Silent Hill game for the Nintendo DS. 
you can just take one one thing from this whole experience. Remember that. And I can just go off somewhere out there in the desert and die. And that was our EGI Level Up 2020 Expo Convention coverage. Uh, so glad that you joined us and, and joined in the adventure and joined in all of the, the fun and discussion. Please uh, follow us on Instagram and, and Twitter. Uh, we are, of course, uh, all of our episodes. If you've missed any EGI XF episodes, they are up on the Adult Swim website in the, uh, the show's tab it's a shows tab and you can just search for electronic game information you'll find us right there uh electronic game information at gmail.com if you have any questions if you want to send us any fan art for the next uh season of shows we will be following up shortly with some more information about that until then uh just stay uh calm uh keep your hands washed uh talk to your neighbors through the walls and uh remember to uh subscribe to egi on youtube Smiling, no, you want the one that's smiling because then they'll know they'll know what's going That's how you say that's you. So, you send a bunch of you send like a big group text, yeah. Come to my house, there's gonna be activities, and then activities in quotes, and then you mm. put the purple devil with that's, the smile. Wait, do you remember which one? I didn't start out wiping the stuff off there. I before I had there's a bunch of bat guano that got on the uh the solar panels, and you have to wipe it off and form into little models of the casinos so for the I'm you keep changing the thing. Yeah. Do you no. do you work for the do you work for the state and you wash off the graffiti or do you work for the solar panel company? I did before work for the solar panel companies, but then it, over on I got promoted, but it took a long time where you have to work with the guano for a long time. What's that word you're saying? Guano. 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 It's, like they had a war there, like, I think. Wait, that's you, a t it's they have like, like Guano Italians Bay. They have people there, they keep them Guano. There. So anyway, what you're saying was do you meet a lot of people doing that? Is you meet. There's a lot of me doing it. There's a lot of you doing it. You so you meet. So you say you meet somebody and you get their phone number, right? What that's a perfect person to put on the list, and then have them come to your house. So you need to give them your address, but that's okay because you shouldn't be giving. You shouldn't be texting anyone that you wouldn't trust with your life because of all the stuff that's about to, about to happen, for with, what's going to happen in your house. Yeah. I just think you should have two, like I have one address for my front door and one for the back door. And if I'm giving it to strangers, I give them the address for the back of the house so they yeah. can never come into the front of the house. Yeah. Because that's for friends. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't need it. We don't need it to get everyone tested because we don't really, we're not worried about it because I basically have everything. Anyway. Yeah. So um, anyway, but yeah, so you've been washing the, how many years have you been doing the graffiti or the, what do you, wait, no, net, the graffiti? Well, I don't count it. Uh, and you're messaging with uh what letters or yeah so mostly yeah. texting with just the regular english like alphabet and pictures like an emoji is a pictures tiny go picture you'll write it down like, on notes that you get from the hotels i i you will sometimes, sometimes sometimes i'll write stuff on on there but mostly it's just text and people come over sometimes they wear masks sometimes yeah. they don't it's you know whatever it's just it's chill it's cool and absolutely come over later but if you could bring like five people, I don't have any people, but I have the piles from before that I scraped off of the solar panel. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, bring that, bring that stuff because you never know what kind of. I really want him to bring that. Okay. I'm sorry, not everybody. No, no, I'm glad you invited him. Okay. I just don't want him to bring the piles. The, it's not the cool weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, right. I think I'm. Can I do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so cool. So bring the bring the piles and just keep. We're, we're gonna. So just text me when you get there, and we'll put the piles in the in the back in the shed area i love that yeah yeah and then you can see the shed which i just redid yeah it's a she shed um not because i'm a woman but because she's a shed 
Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. No, it's cool, right? That's cool. You like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that whole thing written on a little sign that I carved. You carved that? Yeah. I didn't even use tools. Wow. Because people, no, listen to this. People didn't used to use tools. And so if we want to be the way that people were, we should use tools better. That's a really good point. And I think that like a lot of like the politics, I don't know where you stand. Yeah, no, it's okay. Because I love everybody. Right here. I just want to say that like, like, I think a lot of the politics are actually because of technology. I think so too. I think and the thing is, like, technology. I'm swear to swear to God, like I didn't even know that I had hands until I stopped using tools. Like, obviously, I knew I had them, but I'm serious. Yeah. Like, because like, what do you think that this is a knife? This is a knife, right? Yeah, this, this is, is a knife. knife. They put three together, fork, fork. Put yeah. it like this spoon. What do what, I need a tool? You know what's crazy is if you go like this, it's almost like a hand that you can pick stuff up with. That like, is you know almost how, like a hand like, when you do robots that. robots have those claws? Yeah, yeah. This is like one of it's those. It's like a better claw. It's like the the person version of one of it's those robot claws. Claw. Yeah, it, is, it is, is cool to think about it that yeah. way because also because it you can put you can put something you can put sharp thing like when people get their nails really sharp and then scratch your back, which I've said no, I don't do that. We don't do that no, anymore yeah. because it's. You can only do so Sometimes, much, but, yeah, like cross hatching. You know, that it's like a, a style of, of art for a while, and then people um, move on. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You, did you guys want to? Should we get? Should we go? Or? Yeah, let's go. What's up? So you're gonna. You're gonna just just come? follow us. You're cool. Just come. Do you guys have, you like, have your car? You like the Care Bears? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. That's You'll perfect. be that's fit right the, in. That's what we need. That's the password. So come on. Okay, come on. 